At Adams Polishes, we offer a lot of different wheel cleaners and a lot of different wheel cleaning tools. Now, we get a lot of questions about what is your best wheel cleaner? And I generally answer with a question. So, what type of wheels do you have? Are they OEM? Uh, are they aftermarket wheels? Uh, do you have performance brakes? Uh, do you uh, drive your car a lot? Um, all these questions factor in to which type of wheel cleaner or what type of wheel cleaning tools you should be using. So whether you have wheels like these, which are OEM stock wheels, which accumulate a bunch of dirt and grime because it is a daily driven vehicle, or if it's wheels like these on a performance car like the C8 Corvette, which puts out a ton of metallic brake dust, or wheels like these, we have the perfect chemical and the perfect tools to clean any wheel finish. In this video, we're gonna talk about the different wheel cleaning tools and wheel cleaners that are paired best with three different but common wheel scenarios. All right, the first wheel situation we're gonna talk about is OEM or stock wheels. Now, OEM and stock wheels are gonna be on cars that are more daily drivers. Granted, some daily drivers get parked in the garage, some get parked outside, Either way, your OEM or stock wheels are gonna get extremely dirty because they are on the road the most. So, wheels like these stock wheels on this Ford Explorer are gonna need to be cleaned more consistently, but they're gonna need chemical that can really cut through the road grime and dirt and nastiness uh, that accumulates onto those wheels. So in this segment, I'm gonna show you exactly how to clean these wheels effectively and efficiently. All right, now with a daily driven car like this, uh, the wheels and tires and fender wells are gonna get extremely dirty. Uh, you're also gonna need to clean uh, this car more often uh, because it's getting driven more, it's getting dirtier faster. Um, so when you're getting into the wheels and tires, our wheel and tire cleaner is the perfect product for this. Uh, it combines cleaning the wheels and the tires as well as the fender wells all in one, um, so you're not reaching for multiple chemicals. So with wheel and tire cleaner, I'm not gonna spray this directly on. I'm actually gonna get as much of the dirt and grime off first. Uh, and I have the uh, fire hose nozzle here today. Ideally, you want to use a pressure washer, um, but I don't have one here today. Just by using the fire hose, it gets a little bit of the dirt and grime off, just a little bit of the excess. Now, I'm gonna take wheel and tire cleaner, spray this directly onto the wheel. And then I'm gonna go straight onto the tires as well and into the fender wells. Now with wheel and tire cleaner, I like to let it sit for just a minute. And while it sits, I'll talk about the tools I have. First, a fender brush. It has this long handle, which gives you kind of a two-handed, it gives you leverage to really scrub the fender wells. Um, I have the uh, wheel face brush and the tire scrub brush, which is a staple in wheel cleaning. And then I have our wheel woolies, large and small, and our uh, trim and lug nut brush. So what I like to start with first is the fender brush. And this is where you reach underneath here, holding it at the end for control and in, uh, closer to the neck for leverage. And now we can just really scrub the fender wells. Uh, one thing I wanna say too, if you don't have a tire scrub brush, but you have a fender brush, you can use this on the tires. It works really well, but the tire scrub brush is more ideal for the tires. So with the tire scrub brush, you're just scrubbing the tires as best you can. The wheel and tire cleaner is really effective at removing the nastiness from the tire, from any mold release agent or any dirt and grime that's on there. I'll do the wheel face brush first. And this is just getting the face and as much of the spokes as you can. Now trim and lug nut brush. Get these lugs here. And I like to use this kind of as a detailing brush or more of a details type of brush to get uh, near the valve stem here, the emblem in any of the cracks and crevices. You can really focus uh, your cleaning energy in the nooks and crannies. This is a really, really strong cleaner, uh, really, really strong surfactant. So if this dries 
on a wheel, it can potentially damage it. It could potentially stain it. So make sure that when you're cleaning your wheels, they're cool to the touch, uh, especially your calipers as well. Um, and also make sure you're not doing this in the direct sunlight where the wheel and tire cleaner can dry onto the surface. Uh, either do this in the shade, you know, you can flip your car around if you have to and make it more safe when you're using wheel and tire cleaner. Okay, next is gonna be the wheel woolly. Okay, wheel woolly has a 45 degree bend, so you can get back inside of the barrel of the wheel, but also behind the spokes. All right, now I'm gonna go to the small wheel woolly. Now the small wheel woolly is intended to get behind the caliper in the barrel of the wheel. And in this instance, the caliper is so close to the barrel of the wheel that this small wheel woolly will not fit. So it's irrelevant. Uh, what I have to do is actually take this car, move it forward two feet, and then I can clean the barrel of the wheel as it becomes free from the caliper. So I'll do that here in a second. With wheel cleaning, you always want to clean your wheels first before you address putting water on the rest of the vehicle. The reason why is because if you go rinse your whole car down and there's water sitting on this and it dries, the water evaporates, the minerals stay on the car and you get water spots. On top of that, you can do your wheels and tires, your engine and your exhaust tips. Do all of that before you go and start putting water on this car. All right, let's rinse this off and see how we did. I really like the uh, fire hose nozzle if you don't have a uh, pressure washer. Uh, the reason why is you can adjust this head to either blast this off or you can fan this out to be almost the same size as the wheel and really effectively flood the wheel and get all the product out of all the cracks and crevices of the wheel and tire. One thing I want to mention is wheel and tire cleaner doesn't have thioglycolate, which is the raw chemical that attacks metallic brake dust. Now on cars that are not performance cars, such as this Explorer, there isn't gonna be a ton of excess metallic brake dust coming off of these brake pads. Um, so wheel cleaner uh, is a great cleaner, but it might not be the best cleaner for this wheel specifically because it doesn't have metallic brake dust. And especially for a daily driven car like this, where the cleaning power is gonna cut through, as you can see, there nothing coming off that tire anymore. I now want to specifically talk about how to clean wheels uh, with performance brakes that have metallic brake dust all over it using our wheel cleaner. Okay, now that we talked about cleaning OEM style wheels uh, with wheel and tire cleaner, we're going to talk about cleaning wheels on more of a performance car like this C8 Corvette that has these matte black Vossens on the car. Now the C8 Corvette puts off a ton of brake dust. You can see it all in the barrel, you can see it all over. And what we wanna do is use a product like Wheel Cleaner that will attack that brake dust directly and it will thoroughly clean these wheels to perfection. So let me show you exactly how to clean these wheels on the C8. So with a performance car like the C8, it has uh, brake pads that have metallic brake dust in them. So he drives his car fast and hard. And what happens is on these Vossen HF2s, the brake dust gets all over the wheel and parts of it will look dirty or almost like brown a little bit. Uh, so the brake dust is what the problem is on here. And as you can see, it's I one swipe with my finger and there's a ton of brake dust. Now wheel cleaner has thioglycolate in it, which thioglycolate actually attacks the metallic brake dust and breaks down the particles, the metal particles in that brake dust and dissolves them. The thioglycolate is the thing that's really gonna be working to clean these wheels. Uh, now, if you want a more in-depth explanation about our wheel cleaner, more specifically thioglycolate, we have a beyond the process video that we talk to our chemist, Chris, and he gives us like a true explanation about thioglycolate in our wheel cleaner. And when it complexes with these things, it turns into ferric thioglycolate and that's where that red or violet or a plum color will originate from. Uh, generally what I like to do, especially on a hot day, is rinse the wheel first, uh, but today is a little bit more mild, it's kind of windy, it's a cool day out. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just spray this directly onto the wheel. Now, 
methylglycolate, when it reacts with the metallic brake dust, it turns purple. And that's a natural reaction between the thioglycolate and the metallic material. We want to spray into the barrel as well. And we want to let this work for a second. What I like to start with is a trim and lug nut brush. So I'm going to go straight into the lugs here. And it might be hard to see on camera, but I can see this is all turning crazy purple. You'll start to see it bleed purple down onto the ground here, especially when we rinse the car. If your wheel cleaner turns purple, know that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Getting all the little areas like the HF2 etching part here, the Vossen uh, part here. This tool is really amazing for cleaning your calipers. So you can get back here and really, really clean these beautiful red calipers. Oh, okay, around the uh, valve stem here. Okay, now, next brush I wanna use is the wheel face brush. So this is about cleaning the spokes the best I can, really taking the time. Okay, now as I agitate this, you can really see the purple. So that is the, that purple is the reaction between the thioglycolate and the metallic particles in the brake dust. Okay, now done with the wheel face brush. Next, I'm gonna use the large wheel woolly. I tend to get the back and barrel of the wheel first as best as I can and get behind the spokes while I'm at it. Now, one thing I wanna mention is one of the best tools to have when you're cleaning uh, performance wheels or performance cars is having a pressure washer. Uh, this is one tool that can really save a lot of time, uh, but also help blast off a lot of the nastiness that are on these wheels. Okay, that is a nice clean wheel. You do not wanna clean performance wheels when they are hot. Okay, if you just took this out on the track, um, or you took it out, you know, for a drive and the, and the brake calipers are extremely hot, the wheels are hot, you don't wanna spray wheel cleaner onto hot wheels or hot brake calipers. It gives it a chance to dry immediately and stain your wheels or your calipers. Let the wheels and the calipers cool off so it's cool to the touch before you start spraying wheel cleaner onto the surface. Another thing I wanna mention is the wheel cleaner on your brake rotors almost looks like it stains them a little bit. That's just the reaction between the thioglycolate uh, and the metallic brake rotors. Once you pull your car forward, it will take that stained look off of your rotors. So please don't be alarmed with how that looks. If your car doesn't have enough clearance to fit a small wheel woolly inside of it, that's okay. All you need to do is after you've done the full cleaning on your wheel, pull your car forward two feet and you'll see that section that's still dirty in the barrel. It will be over here, and then you can use your wheel woolly and clean that. Okay, now cleaning the tires and the fender wells. Uh, when you're driving a car like this, you're uh, driving it hard, uh, potentially on a track uh, or you know on a nice long road trip. Uh, you want that extra cleaning power uh, to clean the tires and the fender wells. That is our all-purpose cleaner. This has been a staple in our line for many years now, uh, and it's something that has proven to work over and over and over again. So I spray this directly onto the tire, and it's okay if you get a little bit on the wheel. It's already clean anyways. Uh, and then we're gonna spray this into the fender wells. With this C8, I can't put a fender brush inside of here. It won't fit. Uh, it will just, I'll try to jam it in, it's not gonna do anything. So what I like to do is use the large wheel woolly as my fender brush. So stick this in and now I can scrub this and really clean inside the fender well with the wheel woolly. And then the best brush to use for scrubbing the tires is the tire scrub brush. Now we rinse. So one quick note I wanna make is uh, all-purpose cleaner is not your only option when it comes to cleaning your tires and your fender wells. 
uh, tire and rubber cleaner also works amazing. And I'm gonna show you how we use that in the next segment. All right, there you go. There's a perfectly clean Vossen HF2. Obviously these wheels are amazing and, and these wheels cost a pretty penny. So maintaining in the right way is key. And I mean, you gotta see this, the matte finish. Chris, bring that camera over here. The matte finish on this just came out so perfect. There's no more brake dust. And just with a simple, with a simple process of using wheel cleaner on these Vossen wheels with just some simple tools, you can really, really get your wheels looking perfect. Now, now that I've shown you how to clean wheels on a performance car with metallic brake dust, I wanna show you how to clean wheels that are more of a delicate finish. So let's head over and I'll show you exactly how we clean delicate wheels. Okay, now that we've talked about cleaning high performance wheels on a high performance vehicle in which we're using wheel cleaner to take the brake dust off, we're gonna talk about delicate wheel finishes. Uh, something like these AG wheels on this S4, uh, they're brushed aluminum wheels, uh, but they don't have a clear coat on them. So we need to be safe while cleaning these wheels. Uh, and a product like Eco Wheel Cleaner is the perfect product uh, for that. So let me show you guys exactly how to clean delicate wheel finishes like these. So cleaning delicate wheel finishes, you wanna make sure and take the proper precautions to clean them the right way so you don't stain them or ruin them. Because generally when you have delicate wheel finishes, they're an aftermarket wheel that you spent a lot of money on. Now we have a bunch of the same wheel cleaning tools that we had before, but the chemicals are really the big difference here. Um, and one thing I did is I actually put some car soap into the bucket uh, for cleaning the wheels. And what that does is it adds a little bit of extra lubrication to my tools. So when I go and use this on the wheels, it's gonna be just a little bit extra safe. Um, now, the big key feature, the big key chemical that you wanna use on delicate wheel finishes is our Eco Wheel Cleaner. Eco Wheel Cleaner doesn't have the thioglycolate like wheel cleaner, which attacks brake dust directly and also doesn't have some of the harsh chemicals that wheel and tire cleaner has. This is the safest wheel cleaner that we offer in our line, and it's perfect for delicate wheel finishes just like this. So with Eco Wheel Cleaner, it's just like using the other products. You spray this, you can spray this directly on the wheel first, using it liberally, making sure to get back in the barrel of the wheel, uh, using, again, our wheel cleaning tools that we used before, we can just go through, be nice and delicate with cleaning these wheels. And the Eco Wheel Cleaner is gonna help pull a lot of the dirt and grime and brake dust off, but not in a super, super aggressive manner like wheel cleaner or wheel and tire cleaner. Now, again, I mentioned I put uh, car shampoo inside of the bucket. What that's doing is adding extra lubrication to the tools while I use them. Now with a wheel that has a ton of spokes like this, it makes it a little bit more difficult to get behind the spoke. So using something like our barrel brush that I can bend the, the head of the brush, it gives me a little bit of extra versatility when cleaning behind the spoke. Make sure you clean behind your spokes. <laughs> Uh, it just, it's something that people will notice, something that you can always see, something you'll end up noticing all the time when you're cleaning your wheel. All right, now also utilizing the barrel brush, uh, like the wheel woolly, can get back and clean the barrels of the wheels. You know, the face of your wheel is probably 20% of all of the wheel that you need to clean, and the barrel brush and the wheel woolly are gonna be the tools that can really get you to 100% perfectly clean on your wheels. All right, then using again the trim and lug nut brush to get into all the lug nuts. And also around the valve stem and anywhere else that you can see. Now, like we were saying before, uh, wheels like this that have a, a ton of spokes uh, can be hard to clean. That's why we're using the 
a small barrel brush, but we have another tool called the wheel wash mitt. While you're cleaning the wheel, you can feel every nook and cranny that is on your wheel. The wheel wash mitt is a really effective tool with wheels that have a ton of spokes like this. So I'm gonna rinse these wheels off and then we'll get into the tires next. One quick note I wanna talk about with Eco Wheel Cleaner is it's okay if it dries on the finish. Whereas with wheel cleaner or wheel and tire cleaner, you do not want those to dry on the finish. Those can stain wheels. Now getting into cleaning the tires and the fender wells, uh, using tire and rubber cleaner is the best option for sure, especially when you're, when you're working around a delicate wheel finish. This just goes sprays right on. Tire and rubber cleaner also cleans plastic really well. So if you have plastic fender liners, it's gonna help clean those really well too. And then like before, scrubbing tires, you wanna use the tire scrub brush. So. Okay, let's rinse this off and we'll be all done cleaning these wheels. So like we talked about before, we always get that question of what is your best wheel cleaner? And I hope that this video helped you understand which wheel cleaner and what wheel cleaning tools suits you best or suits your wheels the best. Um, now, if you have more questions about wheel cleaning, uh, wheel protecting, anything like that, please contact our customer service. They're extremely helpful and they can give you all the answers you need. Um, and thank you for watching this video today. We'll see you next time.